Hey guys, hope you're doing okay. So I'm very excited to show you my Aldi shop today. I found some amazing stuff in there that I can't wait to share with you. So some of it's probably more suited to calorie counting. Some of it will be absolutely fine on Slim and Weld, but all of it, I think it's just such amazing value. So I spent just over a hundred pounds. So I'll just show you more of the exciting finds and hopefully you'll really enjoy it. So don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button if you do. Right, I'll come and show you what I've got. Okay, so where to start? <laughs> right, I've got some soft rays and flour and the reason I got this is I've seen something that I want to make. Um, I'm going to save what I'm going to do till later. Um, I've got some noodles. I really like these with stir fry. I think they're so nice. Um, and then I always like to have some quick fixes available if I need them. Um, these are just cheaper versions of the rices that I normally get. So this one is 181 calories for half a pack, which I think is fab and it is gorgeous. So it's a Mexican style rice and they only take two minutes. So they're just so handy. Um, they also had a egg fried rice, which I've not tried before. Don't look at my nails. Um, 180 calories for half a pack. And then they do their own version of pasta and sauce, which is really cheap as well. Um, 212 calories for half a pack. Again, just dead easy. Um, they had the golden vegetable one, so I got that one as well. And then I thought I'd give these ones a whirl. I like all the different like lentil ones, so... This one's home fibre and it's barbecue beans um, and this is 128 calories for half a pack and it only takes 90 seconds and this one is Cajun quinoa. Cooking from scratch is always going to be superior, we all know that, but sometimes you just need a bit of a quick fix and actually these are really good. So Cajun quinoa sounded really, really nice, so 185 for half the pack. Um, I really needed some fry low. But while I was there, I thought I'd pick up some of their own version. I don't think it's as good as Frylo, if I'm honest, um, but it is cheaper. So I just thought I'd grab that one. Um, this one was on offer, so I went for that one. And then I don't know if you've tried this yet. This is not necessarily part of my healthy food shop. Um, but I really, really like Villa Maria. Um, and I like um, Oyster Bay when it comes to Sauvignon. I only really drink Marlborough um, New Zealand wines. This one was like, what, £5 something? Um, so it's probably half the price of Villa Maria and it's absolutely gorgeous so if you haven't tried this yet freeman's bay i mean i don't know why they get away with it to be honest <laughs> if you haven't tried this yet give it a whirl it is beautiful then they started to do now their own version of alpen light bars um cheaper a lot cheaper they were only 62 calories per bar and they had all of the flavors they had the summer fruits one the jaffa cake one double chocolate and what was the other flavor salted caramel so they've got all of them in at the moment um i picked up some more pasta this pasta was like 29p i mean 29p for pasta how good is that and then these are just super super handy and they're really low calorie they're only five calories um, per teaspoon and the ginger one is only two calories per teaspoon so these are just ready to use squirt it straight out of the little tube and uh, this is the chili one so chili ginger and garlic i get these because they are honestly so handy and then aldi do all these little special buys don't they and this was part of one of their special buys. Um, this is raspberry and white chocolate flavour shreddies. I mean, that is just a bit of me. 148 calories per serving, and I bet you they are amazing. Um, got some more carrots, all the normal fruit and veg stuff. It's just boring showing you that, but um, I've got some little gem lettuces. And the reason I've got these, they're really handy to use as like a wrap instead of bread. So I like to stuff them with like things like chicken um, fajitas or Cajun chicken and salad. And then just got some more normal salad, blueberries, monge two, the monge two and the spring onion are on special offer at the moment on their special buy. Um, I buy mini bananas um, just because that's enough for me and then the boys love them. I always buy pig ladies even though they're more expensive because I'm obsessed with them. I ate one on the way home so I was hungry. And then more mushrooms. I've um, got some bread, got some breadsticks. The boys love breadsticks um, just as like a little snack and I like them as well with things like hummus. And they are 20, I'm going to drop the bread. <laughs> And they are, let's have a look, 24 calories for a whole breadstick, so not too bad. Um, got some more eggs, I go through a lot of eggs, they're a great source of protein and they're just quick and easy. Um, I like to snack on things like this, so I've got some whole baby beetroot, that was on offer as well. Um, pretend Nutella for the boys, so hazelnut chocolate spread. And then I also got them some of these carrot cake bars, I might mix some of these actually, because um, I am obsessed with the carrot cake. Um, 
These were only 96 calories per bar, and I love stuff like this, so I might actually nick them. Um, more baby bowels, because they love baby bowels. And then if you want snack ideas, um, or you want like lunch on the go, this is really handy. This is Eat and Go Smoked Salmon Sushi Snack, and it's really cheap, and it's only 104 calories. So if you're looking for a quick on the run like snack, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, I've got some naturally sweet sweet corn. I don't like the one with sugar in. The boys are obsessed with grapes, so I've got some more grapes, and I've got them some little mini bags of Haribo, um, because, you know, they're children, <laughs> and they love stuff like that. Um, the Faya Pretend Greek Yogurt, the 0% fat one, and then the Double Delights, um, all of these are just copies of branded yogurts. Um, and then these, you know, guys, like, I mean, there is no shopping haul without millions of yogurts, but you know that I love protein yogurts. 25 grams of protein per pot. So this is the vanilla one. That's the best one, I think. And then I also really like the peach and passion fruit one. And then I've got some strawberry and some raspberry ones. So they're slightly higher in calories. They're 143 for that flavor, but the protein is just unbelievable. And they are so, so nice. So if you haven't tried them, they're only 75p, a lot cheaper than other protein yogurts. Um, and then you know that I like my prunes, so I've got some more prunes. This is a huge bag, um, amazing, amazing source of fibre, and they're just naturally sweet. So these ones are 50 calories for a 30 gram serving. So with Greek yogurt, and then something else that I bought, and some chop shop, that's just such a nice dessert. Um, ketchup, this is 50% less sugar and less salt. And did you know that Aldi baked beans are amazing? Have you tried them? They're so good. Um, tuna in brine, eat a lot of tuna. And then let's come round to the protein. So I have got quite a lot of stuff in the freezer that I want to use. So I just bought some turkey mints, the less than 2% fat one, so it's extra lean. And then these were new, and I thought, ooh, these are quite exciting. This is smoked haddock and cheddar mini fish cakes. 54 calories per fish cake. So if I'd say like four, then I think that's really good. And I'd have them with probably some mash and some veg. Um, and I think the boys will really like these as well. So I'm excited to try them. Um, I also bought their skinny burgers because these are really lovely. God, I can't wait to do my nails. Um, skinny burgers, 5% fat. And I also got their skinny meatballs because these are really really good um loads more prawns because you know that i'm obsessed with prawns um great source of protein very low calorie and some more chicken uh, milk so all that's kind of done i think all the veg and that um so and then let me show you a few things over here so i've got some more porridge oats i just get basic porridge oats because i just cook with water and yeah i don't need anything else um these are an amazing snack so these are eat and go 17 grams of protein for ready to eat roast chicken we love these and this bag is huge compared to some of the other brands and this is 153 calories um for the lot but I think that is brilliant. So if you can get 17 grams of protein in, um, I mean, you don't have to have it as a snack. You could have that as part of your lunch or you could pop it into a salad, whatever you fancy, really. Um, got some of their mature, lighter cheese, broccoli, kale. Can't live without kale. Well, I could, but <laughs> I don't want to. And then their ham is really, really nice. This one, no added water, dried, cured, cooked ham is beautiful. This is 100% meat. Um, yeah, that's a really, really nice ham to buy. A couple of other like snacky things like pickled gherkins. Um, and then I don't know if you've tried these crisps yet, but these crisps are absolutely gorgeous. 87 calories and they taste like Monster Munch. So they're pickled onion flavour, baked, not fried veggie puffs. And then they also do a roti one um, and they're 87 calories as well. Some wonky strawberries that are even more wonky because I've squashed them. Um, and then I got some of their toner. I've run out of my usual one. So as I was there, I thought I would just grab some. This is the Healthy Glow Rose Toner and it's got hyaluronic acid in and rose and elderflower then i'm super excited to tell you about this so this is why do i keep saying super i think i must be on a tv program that i watch because i never used to say that um the foodie market honey and seeds protein granola i am obsessed with granola like i could eat that entire bag just 
like by my hand, just taking it out and shoving it in my mouth. Um, but this one is high in protein and it's a good source of fiber. So this is the sort of thing that I would have with the prunes and the Greek yogurt, and then I'd sprinkle this over the top. Um, so let's turn over and I'll just show you the nutritional information. So per serving, which is a decent serving, is 45 grams. It's only 201 calories. And then protein, 13 grams. So you wouldn't normally find that in a cereal, guys. And it's not expensive. I'll try and um, put some of the prices of things across the bottom. It really isn't expensive um, for, for what it is. I think this is a fantastic, fantastic find. Um, yeah, 25, no, 26% of your daily protein needs. So I'm really, really, really pleased that I found this. And I just couldn't wait to share it with you. I just want to quickly show you these things before I put them away in the freezer. So they've got these little like mini Viennetta ice cream sticks back. Um, and these are just amazing in terms of calories. So you get five in a pack and the strawberry one is 83 calories. The mint one is 87 calories. And then they do um, a vanilla one as well, but I find vanilla boring, so I didn't get vanilla. And then these I get quite a lot. The boys absolutely love these, but I do too. And they're only 46 calories, which is just amazing. And then if you've never tried this, you do not know what you're missing. If you like fish, this is the garlic and herb yellowfin sole. And it's just lightly dusted, but it's only 197 calories per fillet. And it is absolutely beautiful. And then guess what else I found? Oh! So I didn't even know they'd started doing these. I don't know how new they are. I haven't even tried the Slimming World ones, to be honest. Um, but I just spotted these and I thought, oh, this is exciting. So crispy skin on chips with soft, fluffy inside. So I'm going to give these a whirl and I'll let you know how I get on. They're 124 calories per 100 gram. Um, and it is just literally potato and sea salt. But it'll just be so handy for me to have such a quick fix where I can just have chips, stick them on, pop them in the oven and job done. So I'll let you know how I get on with them. So I hope you enjoyed that video guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you leave a positive comment down below. That way I know that you enjoy these types of videos and I'll make sure that I film more of them. Thanks for watching, see you soon, bye.